are you going? I told you I am going to the cross. Now listen to me, Melda. I am your husband. And as your husband, I am the one to lead you to the way you would follow to eternity. No, my husband. I am your wife. I will always remember that you are my husband, the bone of my bone and the flesh of my flesh. I will honor you. I will never remain obedient to you. But the journey to eternity is an individual decision to choose the way to follow. And I have chosen the way of the cross. Will you disobey me again? You dare not Imelda. I am telling you that this insubordination will not continue. This is how you told me you saw a light. And eventually the light leads to a church. I called you and said, come out. We have great possession. They will discourage us. They will persuade us to drop all that we've acquired. You didn't listen. You went ahead. Now it's the cross. You want to go deeper. But I'm saying no. If you dare and disobey me this day, I will spell the word husband for you and I will teach you the meaning of it. You said you are a follower of him. Is it the Bible that says, wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, as unto the Lord? For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. Is it not what your Bible says? That is exactly what the Bible said. And if you would be sincere, you would know that I have fulfilled all righteousness as a wife to her husband, except that I've chosen the way of the cross. I demand total obedience and total submission from you, Imelda. No, my husband. What you are asking from me is the part that belongs to God, my soul. My soul belongs to God. And I have chosen the part that will guarantee my soul a safe journey. Then, this marriage will not continue. Be prepared to marry another husband when we get to grace. Because you will not come into my house. So are crying, men are dying. Won't you win them to the cross? Go and find them, there to bring them, win the lost at any time. Hey, Dad! Hey, baby! No, Emily! That's not the way! Emily, come back here! If you go that way, you will never remain the same. As we look around us, all the fields are white, waiting for the harvest of the ripened souls of men. Christians must get busy, there is work to do. There's an urgent task awaiting you. So Won't you Stop. win them Stop. to Stop. the Stop. Put me down! Put me down! Put me down! What is the matter, Your Excellency? They are passing the way. The way to the narrow gate Jesus spoke about. No, Your Excellency. That gate is too narrow for you now. We have lifted you up and made you a governor. Your name and everything you are carried to eternity are bigger than the narrow gate. You can no longer pass through here, Your Excellency. Also, there is a checking post on that route. If you will go through it, you have to lose everything you have gathered, including your wives and your concubines. Besides, all the people going to eternity through this route will have to go to the cross before coming to grace. A very long and stressful journey. But our route here is shorter. There will be no stop and search. Our vehicles will carry you an entire load to eternity. No, we shall pass through this route. I have faith, and with faith, we shall all pass through. No. Your Excellency, if you will no longer put your trust on us, we will no longer go with you anymore. Neither will these my people, whom I have called to bear you on their shoulder. We will also dethrone you as a governor. Yes, it is an order. And no majority of through this route will be allowed to rule in this present world unless he agrees with us. So, the choice is yours. Then, so be it. You, take this load from him. Agrega, allow him to cut the load. Follow me. He will look for us later. Let's go. All of you, follow me. Follow me. So are crying, men are dying. Won't you 